In this video, we're going to see how to create our own MCP client and MCP server using Python and we are not going to use the cloud desktop as our client. We're going to create our own MCP client using Python. If you watch this video for the first time, I recommend you check my other two videos where in the first video, I show you how to set up the MCP server for the cloud desktop. I show you how to connect the MCP server to the cloud desktop because this is the first video, how to set up MCP server for any random using the cloud desktop. In the next video, I have shown you how to create the MCP server using Python and we can connect it to the cloud desktop. And this is the third video where we're gonna see how to create our own MCP client as well as our own MCP server using Python. So let's get started. We're not gonna use the cloud desktop here. Consider we're not gonna use the cloud desktop. So let me close this. We don't need it. We're gonna create our own MCP client. And let's get started now. So this is the dark foundation. You consider if we scroll down, so using the MCP client, we can connect it to the MCP server. The MCP server will provide all the external sources. It can be database, it can be file system, it can be a Google Drive, it can be Gmail. The MCP client will access the MCP server. The MCP server will provide all the external sources. It can be anything external source. It can be any MCP server. Multiple MCP servers can be connected to a single MCP client. So in this video, we're gonna see how to create this MCP client. So I have opened a folder in the Sublime Text Editor. Let me create a Python file now. First, we're going to create our MCP server now. So if you go to the documentation and if you click on Python SDK, you consider this is the documentation page for the Python SDK. They will provide the documentation for the MCP server. So if you scroll down, you consider this is the MCP SDK for the Python. You consider first we have to install the MCP consider you have to install the mcp now let me open up the command from and let's install the dependencies now so pip install we're gonna install the mcp now so pip install mcp so instead of typing manually what we can do is we can copy and paste now let me copy this and let me paste it here let me clear this and paste it and we are also need the uv so uv is a packet manager so we have to install that as well so make sure you install this both these libraries that is the mcp as well as the uv so once it is installed, we can go to go. You can see that it says requirement already satisfied. So let me minimize this now. I have already installed these two libraries. So let me minimize this. And if you scroll down, they give you a sample MCP server now. So let me copy this and let's go to the sublime text editor and paste it here. Consider from the MCP, we have import the fast MCP. And we have created the MCP and we have defined this MCP tool here. So the MCP tool will expose this function to the mcp client consider here we have the add function this add function takes two arguments a and b and we have written the a plus b so let me clear this we don't need the resources so the mcp tool will expose any function that is defined under now we consider this add function will be exposed to the mcp client from the mcp client we can access this function so let's try to create the mcp server now you can create any number of mcp tools here consider you can add more tools to the mcp client so the client can access this function that you define using the decorated mcp dot tool so let's try to run this mcp server now first we have to start the mcp server then only we can connect with it using the mcp client so if name equal to underscore underscore main we can run the mcp server now so mcp dot run so we can pass the mcp tool in two ways that is the std i1 ssc so that is the transport equal to we have two methods you consider we have initialized the function here now we have somehow passed this mcp server to the client so if we go to the documentation let me scroll and consider under the transports so if we scroll down now let me scroll down you consider we have two methods that is the building transport types so we consider standard input output this is particularly useful if you are running the mcp server locally Consider this is particularly useful for the local integration only. Building command line tools, implementing local integration, you can use the STDIO. But if the MCP server is deployed on the cloud, then you have to go to the servers and requests. That is, the MCP supposed the HTTP request or the SSE. So if the MCP server is deployed on the cloud and if you want access to it, then you have to use the SSE method. But if the MCP server is running locally, you have to use the STDIO. So in this video, we're going to focus on the SSE. So let me go to the Python file now. So the transport is equal to the SSE. So if the file is running locally, you can use the STDIO. But for the safety, I'm going to use the SSE now. So you can also use the STDIO if you want, but we're going to stick with the SSE. So let me copy this file path. 
let me open up the terminal now. So let me open up the command prompt and Python. Let me paste the file location and press enter. This will start the MCP server for us. So once the server is initialized, what we can do is then we can create the MCP client. So just give you a few minutes. It will take some time to initialize the MCP server. Now we got the MCP server that is running on the local force port 8000. Consider here we have the Unicorn running on the local force and the port number is 8000. So let me minimize this. Now we have the MCP server, right? Then we can create the MCP client. So let me create a new Python file. This file name will be the MCP client.py. So if we go to the documentation and if you scroll up, let me scroll up now. Consider we have the example client, just click on that. Consider they provide all the example clients that you can use to connect with the MCP server. You consider here we have cursor, cloud, desktop, we have all the MCP clients but we are gonna create our own MCP client using Python now so make sure you watch this video until to the end and make sure you leave the MCP server running because we need the server running then only we can connect it to the MCP server so make sure you leave the MCP server running so let's start code the MCP client now so from the MCP we are gonna import the client session so from MCP we are gonna import the client session and from the mcp.client.sse, we're gonna input the SSE client. So from mcp.client.sse, we're gonna input the SSE client. So since we have defined the transport as SSE, we are can put the SSE now. So if you define the transport as STIO, then you have to input the STDIO. So from mcp.client.sse, we're gonna input the SSE client. If you have mentioned the STDIO, you have to Input the stdio client. So instead of this, we're gonna input the stdio client. But we're gonna stick with the SSC client now. So from MCP client SSC, we'll input the SSC client. And we also need the async because we are running this function since asynchronous way. So now we have import the libraries. Now we can define a function now that is the async function. Let's define an async function. The function name will be MCP client. And inside this function, what we have to do is first we have to initialize the session now so let's do that now we have to initialize the session for the mcp server so async we're gonna create the ssc client so the sss client is running on the local force so url equal to http local force the port number is the port number is 8000 first we have to connect it to the ssc then we have to create the session consider it is running on the local force port number 8000 and it is transfer using the SSC method. If you want to change the port number, you can also do that by adding an external argument port equal to, but we are not going to do that. We are going to stick with the default and we are transfer using the SSC, so slash SSC. So now we have successfully connected to the MCP server and we got this as streams. Then we can create the session now. So async client session, inside the client session, we are going to pass the streams. So async client sessions async with client session so we have to pass these streams now so we're gonna unpack these streams now that is the asterisk streams this will unpack all the contents inside the streams as a normal list so we're gonna open this access session now we got this session then what we can do is we can initialize this session so await we're gonna wait while the session is being initialized so await session dot initialize while the session is initialized, this function should wait. That's why we have used the keyword await. Now we got the session initialized. Then what we can do is we can see what are the tools are available. So tools equal to so we're gonna wait await session dot list tools. We're gonna use a function called the list tools. So session dot list tools. This list tools will return what are the tools are available for the MCP client. Consider we have one tool here that is the add function, and this will return here then we can print the tools so print the tools so once we got the tools then we can call the tools now so to call the tools we have to use a, another function called the call tool function you consider we have a function called the add mcp tool so research equal to await session dot call the tool we're gonna use the call the tool function earlier we have used the list of tool function to see what other tools are available now we're gonna use the call the tool so we have used the add as a function so we have to pass that here add then we have to pass the arguments because the function expects two arguments 
that is the NB as integer, we consider we have two arguments and we get the output as addition. We have to pass two arguments now. So we're gonna pass this as a dictionary. So a equal to 5 and b equal to 4. So once you have passed the arguments, then what we can do is we can simply print the result. The MCP client in build will call the function using the MCP server. Well, first what we have done is we have connected to the SSC client now using the URL that is running on the local force post number 8000. Then we have initialized the session by using the session that initialized and finally we can see what are the tools are available using the tools function and if you want to call the any tools that is available you can use the session that call the tools and finally we can run this mcp server now if name equal to underscore underscore main then we can run this mcp client so we're gonna run this mcp client as a yes ensure way that is the asynchronous way so yes ensure that run we're gonna run this mcp client now so let me call the mcp client function so yeah this is it what we can do is we can call this function now so let me copy this file part and let's go to the command prompt and python and paste the file location and press enter this will create the mcp client for us so make sure you leave the mcp server as running because we need the server to be active now we got the output consider the tool name is add and we got the description add two numbers and inside the content we have a text that says 9 because 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 that is what we have here consider under the tool we have add and the description is add two numbers and the required arguments are a and b you consider under the content we have the text equal to 9 so if you want to see the output only what we can do now is we can modify the code now so let me go to the uh, subdent text editor so make sure you leave the mcp server as running what we can do is if you want to see the output only so result of that content and inside the content so the select like the zero index and inside this content we have the text so this text only print the output variable so let me run the python file in the subject text editor itself start of the command prompt so let me close this command prompt we don't need it anymore this time so make sure you leave the mcp server running you consider this term, we return the output only 9 and we have this here tool so called the add tool we have used the add tool function what we can do is we can add more tools here currently we have defined only one tool we can define more tools now so let me copy this and paste it here we're gonna create the sub subtraction tool now so instead of returning the addition we're gonna return the subtraction and instead of describing add to numbers we can describe subtract to number this is our next tool you can create more tools so make sure you leave the mcp server as running or we can use we can cancel the server because we have added more to one more tool right so let me stop this mcp server and let's try to restart it now so let me restart the mcp server consider now the server has been started successful let me minimize this let me go to the mcp client so instead of calling the add function we can call the subdraft function Consider now we are calling the subdraft function instead of the add function. So, and let me change the arguments now. So, a equal to 12 and b equal to 5. And let me run this file one more time. You consider now we got the output as 7. And this time, it lists two or tools here that is the add tool as well as the subract tool here you can see in the output you consider and the description for the subract tool is subract tool numbers not only you can define the add tool subract tool you can define any tool that you specify here you can also use any API that you can connect to the any database you can also link the database here and using the mcp client you can code the database you can return the fly entities or use the api you can do whatever you want inside this tool function you consider can define any tools here so yeah this is how you create the mcp client as well as mcp server using python and this is for this video and i will continue in the next one